details of that story in the last episode, uh, we were probably should have checked, it's been so long, uh, last time we were in the floor, I think, don't lose this, hey, in case it didn't happen, Okay. Yeah, last time we met this may be a selfish thing to say, but now we're gonna leave war and stuff. So, oh my God, it's I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tolbikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. And we're finally back. As you all remember, last time I played. Oh. Last time I tried this out. Uh, things didn't go so well because uh, my computer wasn't very good, but now I have a new one and I can record without losing all the frames. Our next destination is in here. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things. Like stealing Blastia cores. Now that we've arrived in Osbio, let's go find that Mordia. May I see your passport, please? Our passport? This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. Mordio? We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No. Of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Estelise. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? We're just gonna give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm going to take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Well, conveniently, there's one single path over here. And this very, uh... Okay, I want this off my screen. It 
Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. Shall we? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But, but... Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout here for us, won't you? Wait, but, but, um... I'm going with you. Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I... I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blast, you thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. We've got our destination. And what's here should be... Yeah, the shop. The thief's guild of Ospio. Get a, get a sash. Nobody can use it. This is what iron means. Avatar. Broke iron protector. Leather boots, a leather cape. And cooking ingredients. Yes, I want. That's expensive, though. Never mind. Maybe not right now. Yeah. Well, I think I'll pass it. Actually, going to report that reminded me. Carol learned critical. He already learned all of his skills from Kandak, so we can give him this way beer. I think Stellar Magic Guard. And repeat Stellar Magic Guard. So, Alright, he wants to do that. Did he use his skills? Which, uh, surprise anything? We can make another one beer. You can make a ribbon. You can make a bunch of things. Now I'm thinking a little bit of that. Let's go meet this Mordio. 
house is all the way down. Oh boy. Get ready to eat. This is someone very interesting. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me! Please, wait. <sighs> Why does he always do that? This is crazy! Who could live in a place like this? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello? We're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Let's look around Morio's place for evidence. Check this out, it's a blasphemy mod. Whoever made this is pretty talented. It's a model of a Grand Blastia. It's not working though. Grand Blastia. Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including but not limited to very Blastia. Or then the book, huh? pull tricks like that. Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of a Blastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog. And you, kid, give them back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give them back to me. What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well... You see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruin. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia core could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finish chatting? All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. 
Okay, okay. We'll go with... The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. Yep. Rita has now joined our party, and uh, I'm gonna play as her. You know what? Yuri's been getting... Yuri obviously will have the most screen time out of everybody here, so... This is Rita has two titles, Genie's Researcher, Mage, or level whatever title. Her skills, she has Rhythm, repeatedly tap A while casting spells, short casting time. Increase magic defense, increase magic, and increase max TP. And she has that sash that we saw at the shop. And it doesn't... Wait, I can give her leather boots, okay. Anyways, Rita is a little interesting with her arts, uh, mm, I don't like that. We're gonna get rid of that. It's bad. Before you leave her house, there's some things here that you want to look for. Huh, what's this? A collector's book. It's a self-updating book that makes it easy to record all of the items you find. Self-updating book, huh? I guess I'll just have to look and see what you mean. Sure, that will work too. It's extremely useful to have. Let's take it with us. Uh, hey, get a load of this. Most pages are blank. Are you sure you're a world-renowned researcher? <laughs> and there should be one more scene for us in here. If I can find where it is, it's probably back here. Yep. That's Blastia formula. Some messy handwriting. As long as he can read it, that's all that matters. You know, they say that people with bad handwriting have good hearts. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing really. Oh, uh, this is a formula that uses fire, right? Seems like you know your stuff. And, uh, oh, there's another thing I can check. You must be quite the ardent scholar. Eh, no, no. Just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean that their actions are right or just. Go ahead and say what you want, it's not like I care. Hey, the cover is about to fall off this one. <laughs> and this. Did you make this? This is the 20 questions. It's really amazing how you can make this kind of thing. It's nothing special, anyone can do it really. I guess so. And we finish checking the SS. Okay. Well, now that we have Rita, we can finally, I guess, head for Aspio and try to... Already in Aspio, and try to head for the Shikos runes that she mentioned. Let's see about clearing her name. Anyways, come up here. You can't enter the place. <laughs> uh, you might want to remember it for later. Kinda. Maybe. Don't take my word for it. Anyways, what happens if we try going back to the... Cards. I'm saying anyways a lot. It's gonna be my catchphrase. Fuck. <laughs> I wanna see what happens if we try talking to the guards from this way. I don't know what happens. Oh, you can just leave. Okay, that was disappointing. I was kinda of hoping for like a whole scene about how Yuri says they have to go in the back. Whatever. Now oh, then, uh. I want to show Rita in battle. A little test. Ready? Go. First, she needs to learn Dragon some new arts. Power that tries soul shine. A little test. Champagne. Uh, champagne. Oh, flickering blade. <laughs> that was too easy. That's nice. Oh, cool. and, oh, okay. I got, <laughs> I got more titles. Okay, uh, you didn't really get to show Rita. Anyway, she's our uh, dedicated mage. So. Leave it to me. A corner cat zero. becomes a lot. Or not. We just repeat. Hold on. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think this is a good time now to uh, finally, truly start the unknown playthrough. Let's let's give it a test now. Don't get in my way. Oh, flickering blaze! Burn! Oh, power 
There we go. Fire 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 Fireball. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fireball. Yeah. 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 And here we get chased to the ground by a bee. Nice aid smash! Carol Odin of this modest no. land! Nice smash! It's Stone Blast. Odin of this modest land! Okay, there we go. Stone Blast. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll keep spread zero. Uh, Destroy rock! Spread zero next. Smile of wavering darkness! I didn't get to see it. Just just going all the way down. She's so probably used to flash. Are you okay? Oh my god. So petty. Grant them thy undefiled purity. Splash! Okay, I'm gonna splash. I need splash! Oh, no, don't. Please, why? Come to me! I need to do something else. Rita's dead. Why is Rita dead? <laughs> oh, this is great. You okay? This is nothing. Stop! A little test. Oh. All oh, right. She has physical arts that I don't like using. I'm gonna turn those off. Right now. Nice hands, Matt. Show this one later. Holy power, come to me! First aid! I think you can point a bunch of people. Okay, well that was fun. Let's, let's cook a Salisbury steak. Carol, cook us a Salisbury steak. I should cook. Thank you. Before we go to the ruins, we want to head here and talk to these people. Hmm. Welcome to the Kingdom of Adventure. Oh, it seems wonderful to see you again. Yeah, it's been a while. Pleasant serendipity that we have been run into each other yet again. I thought we'd see you again. A big brother, you're ever so blunt. Who are these people? This is Karen and Ranch, and they're traveling around it and operating in it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Seems you have more companions since last we met. How nice. Perhaps you'd like to stop and rest? Yeah, I could use some rest. I agree, I'm kinda tired out myself. Well then we'll take you up on your offer. Please, make yourselves at home. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty ancient looking sword. Light's got really dull too. No longer anything more than you take unfit to cut a man or beast. Is that sword important to you? It belongs to someone I respect. You can't just get rid of it. Rich, it seems like you're not running a traveling in just for the heck of it, am I right? <laughs> you shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's alright. I'm, I'm a warrior, not an innkeeper. But my village with Karen was like gigantic monsters. I was 15 at the time. When you were 15? How old are you now? 28. 15 years, huh? That's pretty long. She can't a monster. That's the name of a giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard that an extermination force sent by the Empire to kill them was entirely wiped out. Well, every single one of those monsters is fallen. I cannot get back to my hometown. What's that? Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. Maybe we can help. Seems like you're having a tough time with it. Let's see. I don't know the details, but you committed your committed to doing this yourself, Matt, didn't you? Yeah. It sounds like this is up to him, Carol. Yeah. Yeah. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a trick, yo yo. You ever happy to see us around? Please stop by and say hello. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Later. Brother, I keep telling you, try to be more friendly. You think you should have helped him. 
Kit solve all the world's problems by ourselves. Though if we were to ever run into the monsters that he was talking about, we might as well take them out for him. I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I've slept like a trick. Yo-Yo is a new one. <laughs> anyways, uh... I need to stop saying anyways. Next time on Tales of Vesperia, we'll enter the... The question mark, question mark, question mark that Rita called and talked about last time. I'll see you then.